Hi, my name is Sebastian van der Schrier from SocialAnxietySolutions.com. I am a social confidence coach and ex-social anxiety disorder sufferer and the host of a podcast show called Social Anxiety Solutions where I interview psychologists, psychiatrists, scientists, healers, and psychotherapists for their best social anxiety solutions. And today I'm answering a question and the question is... Hi Sebastian, I'd love to hear a podcast about social anxiety challenges in the workplace, how to cope with an environment built for extroverts and take on a leadership role despite your fears around dealing with people, and how to find downtime to recover from work interactions or whether it's okay to need this. Um, Yeah, thank you for your question. I just recorded a podcast like that, not in particular for um, work situations, um, but it relates to work situations very much. And a woman, a psychotherapist uh, who has incorporated energy psychology into her practice, um, she uh, gives a few examples of a woman who is an introvert who at her work, um, you know, uh, needs to go to certain outings that are organized by extroverted people and she doesn't feel comfortable there at all and uh, you know the psychotherapist on the show shares how um, you know what her process is and you know uh, w- what she was able to do in order to uh, feel more comfortable and part of that um, which is directly um, uh, you know so, something that I can share with with you now that is you want to uh, accept acknowledge and celebrate your introversion and you know society is very much you know praising extroversion and you know the extroverts you know, rule the world and so on and so forth and introversion is something that's very uh, you know is, isn't as popular let's just say um, there's a very powerful TED Talks, which is, uh, if you're not familiar with it, just go to tedtalk.com or, you know, I don't even know what their official website is, but if you go to YouTube and you type in TED Talks, T-E-D Talks, uh, you'll get them. And in particular, there's one by Susan Cain uh, that is, you know, let me look, I, I think it's yeah, C-A-I-N, Susan Cain, on the power of introverts. And that's an amazing talk where um which 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 may help you set you on a path of acceptance of your of yourself one question she also answers in that interview that i ask her is like hey can introverted people also become socially confident and uh, it's kind of a rhetorical question because i already know the answer because uh, many of my clients actually are introverted people but really what it comes down to is accepting yourself and you know becoming okay with who it is that you are introversion is just uh, oh, you know how you come into the world uh, you know you might prefer spending time with people one on one more than uh, you know with groups of people you might enjoy it more to spend time on your own than extroverts do and you know if we pick up on society's judgment and you know that that's early on and that starts to get programmed into our mind we start to reject ourselves and you know we perceive that other people do not accept us the way we are we think we should be behaving like extroverts and then there's all this pressure and so on and that causes a lot of the social anxiety and you know, what you can do is, is is work on that clear that and another thing that's very important um, is to set boundaries and be really vulnerable. The, the expert that I interviewed, uh, it's going to be live in a few weeks, um, she came onto the show and she's a psychotherapist, a uh, very highly qualified psychotherapist with years and years of practice and uh, very skilled and, and she starts out the interview and she says, um, yeah, I'm a, bit, uh, I'm a bit nervous right now, I'm a bit anxious right now. So uh, this is the first time I ever do an interview like that so I thought I'd just share that up front. I'm like, wow, what an amazing, vulnerable thing to do, you know, um, and that, that speaks of a lot of self-acceptance, which is what you want to have uh, in order to feel safe being yourself, because that's really what it's all about, because when you feel safe being yourself, you know, then, you know, you, you don't feel threatened, when, then, then, there's no, then there's no danger, when there's no danger, there's no anxiety, okay, and, you know, it's all about feeling safe 
to be yourself. And she was sharing uh, about this lady that had um, some outing that uh, this this client of hers who was introverted, who had a specific work outing that she felt very uncomfortable with, and she worked with that woman so that uh, that woman felt comfortable expressing her boundaries saying to the people that organize this like hey this is something that I'm not typically very comfortable with so don't you know put me up there out front uh, from the get-go and what she did was she found some people that she's more comfortable with and she actually opened up about her discomfort which made the other people that felt a bit uncomfortable uh, more comfortable as well and from that place uh, she actually ended up having an uh, you know an okay experience instead of something where where she avoided it completely so it's really about self acceptance and feeling safe to set your boundaries and just own who it is that you really are and you know when it comes to your work environment yes of course it's important to take time to rejuvenate and uh, sit so uh, you know recover um how to specifically do that i i don't know because uh, you know i don't uh, i'm not in that environment in particular the only thing i know that you could do is go to the toilet and tap and calm yourself down but you might have a, a you know a conversation with your with your supervisor it's like hey you know i need some time for myself sometimes and uh, you know is there any way that we could set this up because it's important for me because you know when i feel more empowered when I feel better, I'm able to deliver better work. Something along those lines. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. So I hope that is helpful. Um, that interview, uh, introversion, extroversion, shyness, and what it all means is going to be live, uh, I think, either next week or, or the week thereafter. So keep an eye out on that, and you can find that. Uh, by clicking on the link below the videos there that's also where you find all the previous shows and uh, you know we're at show 48 so 48 interviews with psychologists scientists experts healers and so on with uh, you know the best solutions from both traditional psychology as well as the new and emerging and exciting field energy psychology and it's best to combine both worlds in order to overcome your social anxiety the fastest and uh, you know start living a life of effortless social confidence so thanks again for your question subscribe there's a button somewhere and um, yeah talk to you soon bye for now